It's all in the curing, so I really recommend it. Sometimes that takes a season or two to catch on to that, but it's worth it. I would recommend that they learn to cure their own grass because that's part of it. If you're out there cutting and curing it and you see how pliable it is and, and you dry it, keep it clean and soft. If you don't take care of it, you get very dry, brittle grass. So we do harvest the grasses in the summertime and that's when I, I actually did grow my greatest appreciation for the art of basket weaving was when I actually started doing the collecting myself because you can go out and you can harvest just huge bundles of grass, the bee try, and you'll only end up with about that much of finished product. You get a bundle, she said, get as big around as your waist. Well, some of us had bigger waist than she did. Because <laughs> she only stood about this tall. <laughs> Mrs. Shaftnikov. Gathering the grass is relaxing. Well, it gets you outside, you know. In the winter, we have such, you know, cold, wet winters that in the summer, it gives you something to do. You go to the beach and you cut some grass and you have a picnic and then you take it home and you wrap it. Now it takes around three weeks to cure your grass. You have to take care of it during the curing process and drying and afterwards you have to take care of it to make sure that it doesn't get mildew and doesn't break. And You don't dry the grass, you cure it. Once it cures you have to take it apart and split it. You have to take the outer blades off. You have to get the inner blades hung right away to dry and sometimes that alone will take a week or so. Uh, usually the two outer leaves you discard and then the inner ones you use for your spokes and, uh, and then the very inner part which are the weavers she considered to be the most valuable and clear back then she said they're worth a dollar a piece <laughs> because of all the work. These first blades are so soft already that I can just you know start twisting them and and probably weaving with them without even really dampening them. For the grass socks I go out in the fall to pick the grass after nature has cured it. It's already turned to this beautiful wheat color. And when I take my grass apart, there's what I call a mama grass and a baby grass. Aha, this one has it. And that's what I really like to use because the, the baby inside the mama is the softest and the silkiest that you can, use, that you can find. And this is what I like to use uh, for my weavers. a lot of my grass out of Old Harbor. I've gotten a lot out of Port Lyons this last year and previously when I lived in Anchorage I would just go to the Native Hospital and I would buy grass or at AFN, the Alaska Federation of Natives Convention, they had vendors and I would purchase my grass since I wasn't on the island. For me it's mostly the fiber anyway. I love the fiber. I'm not sure I love the monotony of weaving sometimes but I do love gathering and curing and that's a good, that's a process. That's a three or four month process sometimes, so. Those bundles that you buy for $125, some people will just thought it was outrageous. You're buying a bundle of grass for $125, but it's like, I know what that person had to go through to, to, to get that bundle. So you do pay the price.